inspired you to pursue a career in law? Um, public service. You know, when I was uh, uh, first graduated from college, I worked um, in Washington, D.C. I saw people who were really able to effectuate change were folks who were journalists and folks who were lawyers. So I started being a journalist. Um, and then thought, you know, longer term, I wanted to be an attorney, and I, I could do have an effect on uh, helping make things better in whatever community I was living in. It would give me the ability to do that, the knowledge, and the flexibility to be able to adapt to wherever I might end up, and be able to have a positive impact. So that was what motivated me. Okay. Okay. What well, motivated you to be a chief justice? Well, you know, I um, before I came to the judiciary, I had. I had uh, led another state department called the Department of Commerce and Consumer Affairs. It was a great experience. We had great employees and it excited me to be able to lead an organization, be able to identify goals and then bring people together and, uh, to move towards those goals. So once I became a judge um, and that position opened up, uh, I thought, you know, maybe I, I would be honored to have the opportunity to, to do the same thing at the judiciary. And so I went ahead and applied. And, um, you know, I hoped that I would get that chance. And I was fortunate enough to get it thanks to Governor Lingle, who appointed me. Okay. Why did you choose this particular school to proceed with this case? Well, you know, we've been to this is our third time on Maui. Uh, we've been to Baldwin twice. And I felt that really strongly that we should try to uh, go to another venue. And I'd always thought about coming to Lahaina Luna. I asked my colleagues on the court. They were very supportive, and so we decided let's reach out to the school and see if it might work. And fortunately, thanks to Mr. Landis and others, it did. And we're so grateful to be here today. Okay. <laughs> um, can you please provide just one word that might describe you as a Chief Justice and why you would choose that word? A uh, collaborative. So my view is I try to work with people, whether as a justice deciding cases or the way I work as a leader of the organization is to try to respect other people, hear what they have to say, bring them together, try to synthesize their views into a, a sort of a vision for where we can go. So, but I'm not somebody who just imposes what I think is right. I try to work with people, hear, the, hear what they have to offer because in, inevitably they have great ideas about what we could be doing better or different. So try to incorporate all of that together and have a vision that's shared by everyone. Okay. Um, actually, yeah. how do you think you've improved from your past experiences as a Chief Justice? Well, we had a lot of challenges over the years, so COVID is a huge example. We had to completely change how we do business in order to keep people safe. We had to move to remote hearings uh, as much as possible to keep folks out of our courthouses so we wouldn't be bringing people together. Uh, we had to figure out how to do things like jury trials in a way that was safer and uh, would inspire confidence in our jurors when they came to the, to the building for their jury trial so we had to adapt very quickly on the fly with uh, no playbook and we did that and so I think that you know really was a, a, a experience that caused everyone in the judiciary to have to grow and develop uh, new tools that we never dreamed would be needed uh, before that. Okay, just um, one more question okay. what advice would you give to people that would pursue in law? future generations of people that have gone off. You know, I think, be, you know, find things that you're passionate about doing, work hard at those things, learn to excel at them. Um, hopefully they involve, you know, public policy, uh, you know, being part of the community, understanding the issues that are taking place in your community. But really important to be a good writer and someone who can communicate effectively. So those things are, I think those are some of the building blocks that go into being, for example, an effective judge. Um, you know, you have to have the right heart, you have to have the experience. Uh, you have to have you have to care and be compassionate and be willing to work hard to make a difference and then you have to have the skills to be able to deliver once you have that opportunity so all those things go into the mix thank you so much yeah thank you yeah, appreciate thank it you. Aloha, thank, thank you, you. <laughs> thank you for coming to